guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are all doing well i just thought i'd do a bit of a um car chat while i'm here and optimize my time before i go to my next patient as you can see by the title today i am going to be talking about my relapse um with my youtube channel i did kind of when i started it and it started changing into um more me talking about my journey in the faith and all that kind of stuff like i did want to be honest yeah i did want to be honest about my journey because i feel like there's many like preconceptions about things and people maybe in some regards want to hide certain things but i'm hoping by talking about it one it might help other people and you know give other people an understanding and two i think it's good to be honest now we're not supposed to keep our sin in secret now this doesn't mean that you need to come on social media and blow it out on a youtube channel because you really don't need to do that you could tell somebody you trust or tell your pastor or whatever it is like you don't have to do it on youtube but obviously this is something i've chosen to do but it's good to talk in sin and i have told a couple of close people around me about it as well because by keeping to yourself it's kind of what satan wants so obviously it doesn't have to be on social media and um, you could just tell a friend or whatever but it's always good to be made accountable i think the thing is like with some people and i don't know whether it's more like obviously i i don't ever claim to be religious sometimes it can be more religious type people sometimes it can be people anyway i feel like a lot of people judge in the wrong way and the bible does talk about judging but judging righteously and it obviously talks about taking the plank out of your own eye before you address the plank in other people's um which we're not always perfect at including myself obviously um but i just feel like sometimes you can be made to feel like you don't want to share um times where you may have slipped up or times where you may have fallen back a bit or you know things like that because you can feel like people in the faith or people around you might judge you in the wrong way but that's wrong at the end of the day like i said we're not jesus we're not perfect we are going to make mistakes god knows that which is why I thank the lord that he is so forgiving but for me it's more about you know repenting and trying to do better i don't agree with this concept um like i hear from some people where they just keep doing the same things or the same sins but then just repenting for it like that's okay that i don't agree with um but it's different if sometimes you just slip up a few times um but i think you know you're more in the faith and you're more with the holy spirit when you start to feel real guilt about your sin because some people don't feel that which is obviously not good um but i just feel like at the end of the day like i said there are going to be things we slip up on none of us are perfect and we have to repent and we have to actually try and work at that i think the issue is is when we just repent but then continue the same behavior you know so I, I don't think that would be then be true repenting but it doesn't matter if you repent and then you tried really hard and then later on you slipped up again you know it happens and i just feel like i want to be honest about this because one i've already put out a couple of videos about me stopping smoking um so like i said i don't want to act like i've just been perfect and you know i mean i was for quite a period of time to be fair but i, I do want to be honest and transparent on my channel um and i just think at the end of the day it's wrong when people judge you sometimes for falling off and i feel like people feel like ashamed or they feel guilty to speak out about it and at the end of the day if as long as you're genuine and you repent and you try like people should never judge you for that because they're they will most people if not all will be doing some type of sin themselves and it's not this whole like oh your sin's worse than my sin and all this kind of stuff so yeah which is why i just wanted to speak about it because things happen in life and we sip out and it could be the littlest thing like we start we tell more white lies or you know it could be bigger sins you know but it, it at the end of the day a sin's a sin and god does not like sin so yeah i just wanted to talk about this because it happens sometimes i think you can use it as a learning lesson sometimes god uses situations to make you stronger um and it's, i think it's a thing of not beating yourself up because the devil will make you feel like oh you can't be forgiven he's not going to forgive you again which is not true and the devil will make you feel like you're not worthy because oh you slipped up or because you're not doing exactly what you want to be doing at that time like those thoughts come from the devil so when you get them kind of thoughts we, we need to banish them because it's not right to feel that way and people that judge are wrong because they're often doing things themselves you know and, and it's good to have people around to support you and remind you not to do sin and and to help you with that but not judge you in the wrong way and i feel like that happens a lot um obviously if you're sinning and there's someone else in the faith <clears throat> sorry if there's someone else in the faith sinning and you know about it of course it's good to like pull people up on things and speak to people about it but it's the way a lot of people go about these things that is the problem so we i don't think we should ever be made to feel shame ashamed or feel guilt about talking out in times when we slip up i think that is a major problem and it will stop people progressing by doing that so basically like a couple of weeks ago i just went through i'm not going to go into too much detail about it but like a couple of stressful situations um in my personal life <clears throat> 
and I just felt like really really stressed out and was just arguing with people and it was just a really stressful time and for the first week of it or so I dealt with it okay I dealt with the stress but I was I think that point even though by then I haven't smoked for like three four months I don't even know it's been ages now maybe longer than that I don't know so it'd been a long time and I just went cold turkey I stopped everything and it didn't bother me but the only way you can do that is through God so I know I can do it again um, so I generally didn't smoke so it was only about a couple of weeks ago so I went through a really stressful situation I managed to deal with the first part of it and then kept more things were happening and I just I've never had such an urge in my life to want to smoke since I've given up like this was the most time just because I was so stressed out and it got to a point you know where you just like you don't want to think you just want to sleep it out but you can't because you're stressed you just don't want to think about things and I would use weed to like force myself to sleep or to not think about things um and I just I really really craved smoking them because I was just so stressed out with what I was going through at the time and um I ended up buying cigarettes the first time round um, because I didn't want to smoke weed, but I just knew I needed something. So I did smoke a few cigarettes for like the first few days. But to be fair, I just I don't really like smoking cigarettes. So that wasn't really doing it for me, but I just smoked cigarettes. And then when my situation got a bit more stressful and I went for another situation, that's when I ended up caving in and I did wake up one morning and I did go and buy the green stuff. And yeah, obviously like it had been a while since I'd smoked then so obviously it affected me a lot more so I didn't have to smoke as much um but yeah and I just I just like afterwards I did feel really bad because it's like when you've done something you've not done something sorry for so long it's worse when you then fall off if I just not smoked for like a week or two I probably wouldn't have felt as bad about relapsing but it, this is the thing like satan knows when to get you he knows what stresses you out he knows your weak points and this is where he'll get to you because he was going to know how much that situation that i went through was going to stress me out to the point where it would tempt me with the smoking and this is where you have to learn that rather than turning to things like smoking like i did or whatever else it is that people turn to we have to turn to god and i think this was a real wake-up lesson to me to realize like even when you're going through really bad times this is when you have to be strong because you're not getting tested when things are okay because it's easier to manage it's only when things start to really get um sorry i was just reading an email there it's only when things start to really get sticky that is when you're really tested and to see how you cope with things and obviously i, de I dealt with it in the wrong way and i've smoked for probably two weeks since then i'm now stopping smoking and i have had some sleeping issues since so it's now been about i don't know nearly a week now since i've stopped smoking again and it wasn't as bad as last time like i've had a bit of anxiety but nowhere near the crippling anxiety i got last time i haven't been vomiting this time because obviously i've not smoked for as long so it's not as bad like i smoked for years before that um and i but i have struggled to sleep so the first night i didn't sleep at all i think i was slept for half an hour i was awake the whole night and then the next night obviously i passed out and then the night after that i think i fell asleep about four um so it wasn't great but i think this is just another lesson like you know god says give our stresses give our anxieties to him you know and i felt like i should rather than getting in the smoke i should have got in the word you know and this is where it kind of teaches you like satan's going to get you at these times you leave that little creak of a door open pow he's back in so i realized that you know i've got to get back on it and i think there's some areas that i need to work on in terms of how i deal with stress because before it's just like i'll smoke and then i forget about it and then i feel calmer and to be fair it does make me feel calm briefly but then overall it makes you feel like crap you know in the long run it's not the right answer and you pay a higher price for it so i know that i need to stick on this path now and i'm very confident that i can do it again with no problems and then when another stressful situation arises in the future because i'm not really stressed anymore that's when you really have to be like right now i have to learn to deal with it by using god by using prayer by getting in the word and asking god for help rather than trying to be self-sufficient and doing things that are not of god and in the long run really don't help so but i just wanted to be very transparent about this because i feel like sometimes when you're in the faith people expect you to be perfect and it's like oh when you slip up they'll be like oh it's like they're waiting for you to slip up to be like oh see look you're doing that now you know what i mean and this is a journey it's not like once you give your life to god you get you know born again and all that suddenly you're perfect you know we're we're at the end of the day we're humans we're gonna make mistakes god knows that but we've just got to try Try and do our best to keep getting more in the word and getting more within god's laws and not sinning obviously um but yeah it's, it was it was just a difficult time really and i smoked i mean not as much as i normally would but i smoked a fair amount for those two weeks um and i just wanted to be transparent about it because i've shared a lot of my other journey and i just think like i said if there's other people out there that have fallen off and are feeling really bad don't beat yourself up about it because that's what the devil wants you to do you've got to pick yourself back up ask for forgiveness repent 
and get back on it <laughs> and do what you need to do again and get back in the word so it's just making sure i mean this is my first time i think i've ever really really been tested since i give up weed in terms of stress whereas before i'd had a few stressful situations but this just built up and built up and built up um and now i know in the future that when things like that happens i have to put something in before it gets to that point because I have to deal with the stress in a different way you know so i have to do something before i get to that point and then do other things to try and calm that situation down like meditating on the word or praying or just generally reading the bible or speaking to other people around you it's good to have support with it as well but it should be the right support if there are people around you that aren't being nice about it then they're not a true follower of christ anyways yeah it's just one of them things and god will forgive as long as we're honest about our repent it comes our, as long as we're honest about repenting and it comes from our heart god will forgive us and i think that's the amazing thing so we've got to not hold that shame because that's the devil telling you those things in your head you know and it's disappointing don't get me wrong at start when you're like oh i did so well and i fell off but at the end of the day you just have to kind of see it as one of them things where you're like right what's done is done now I've got to repent and get back on it. Um, and just having, I mean, coping mechanisms for stress are different for everyone. I did some of this in my coaching course, but it's different for everybody. Everyone has different coping techniques, but it should always be related to God. Whether it be you prefer to read, you prefer to pray, you prefer to meditate on the word, whatever it is, but it has to involve God. That's the main thing because that's where our strength comes from. We can't do this alone. You know, I've always said like, I can't be self-sufficient in this. I can't do this without God. There's no way I would have been able to do what I did the first time without God. There is no way. And that's how I know God helped me with that because there is no way on this earth I'll be able to do that by myself. And I know if it's happened once, God will help me again. And I just have to keep praying for guidance because even when I was smoking, it wasn't like I was sitting there praying to God, like, please get me off this. I was just doing what I was doing, you know, and you get in that set where you're stressed and then you stop being in the word and you distance yourself a bit from God because God never leaves us. We leave him. So, you know. So I just wanted to be very honest about that journey. And if there's anybody else out there that's feeling guilt and shame, just we have to remember that's from the devil. And as long as we're repenting and trying to do better, that's all that matters. And we're trying to please God. Because at the end of the day, I think there's too many people that get beaten up for things unfairly in the faith. And it's like judged very wrongly. And I know we're human. We're all going to judge by accident at some times that we have to judge righteously. And it has to be done within the right way. Um, so if you are somebody that's, you know, slipped up a bit or there's things that you feel like you're still struggling with, like don't let the devil put them thoughts in your mind where you start to think you're not worthy or you can't do this or you know you're not going to be forgiven because you are that's the devil trying to tell you that to keep you where you are never ever let that happen and the more you get in the word the more you realize how forgiving god is so i just wanted to put that out to people i hope it relates to some people um i really should get to work so i'm going to be bloody late it's going to be early it always happens i think you're going to be early then it'll be bloody late um but yeah i hope that resonates with some people um and i just wanted to be honest about my journey which is why i thought i would do this video today but yeah i am now on the path to obviously stopping again um and i'm gonna hopefully keep this going this time and yeah because i think i was super busy at work and i know it's probably a slight excuse but i should have given up earlier but i didn't because i had a really really busy few days at work and i thought if i don't sleep those nights when i stop smoking i'm going to be in i won't be able to work and i know it's probably a bit of an excuse to some degree but i continued my smoking an extra couple of days just so i could sleep on the days i had really busy days at work and then obviously when my days got a bit easier i was like right i can i can deal with the not sleeping for a night now without having to do a really long day at work yeah. but yeah i hope that resonates with some people and we just always have to remember that we're not perfect and we just have to keep trying to do better and avoid sin. um and yeah like a, this addiction for me is i'm surprised i did what i did to be fair but I will be getting back on it now so it is all good i need to do better and i need to work on that and i think the first step is acknowledging that <laughs> and actually having some type of accountability but having accountability is a good start so yeah just thought i'd do that video i hope you guys enjoyed that um like i said i will do another update on this at some point because I'm, I'm not going to be obviously smoking now anyway but i will do another update at some point um if there's anyone else giving up out there just keep praying because i promise you god will give you the strength and the tools you need to be able to do that um and yeah blessings to everybody and i hope to see you guys in my next youtube video